In this video, we're going to go over the uh, liquidity ratios and discuss why it's important uh, when evaluating stocks. Um, so the liquidity ratios is basically our metrics that allow you to figure out um, how much liquidity the, the company has and does it have the, the adequate liquidity to uh, satisfy short-term um, debt obligations. So uh, let's get to it. So here I have uh, liquidity ratios. The, the two main ratios we're going to look at are current ratio and quick ratio. Uh, so quick current ratio uh, basically is calculated by taking the current assets of a company and dividing it by the current liabilities. So let's take a look at the balance sheet and we'll be able to figure out what are those uh, values here. So we have a current ratio of 2.39 times. Uh, if I click on the formula here, we see that the company has uh, $1,000, $290 of current assets and uh, a total of $540.20 for current liabilities. So this gives us a current ratio of 2.39. And then if we go back to the previous year, we have 2.33 times. So typically, um, you know, this will, this will vary uh, industry to industry, but t typically the rule of thumb is we want a company where they have a current ratio of say uh, one. Now this may vary from industry to industry. So if you come across an industry where the average current ratio is let's say two or three, then I, I think it's appropriate that you can assume that if you have a company with uh, a current ratio within two to three current ratio, then that's you know okay. Now let's say the the average current ratio for the you know uh, let's say industrials industry uh, is one, and you come across a company with a current ratio of, of three, then you could you could see you could see that maybe uh, the company may not be fully utilizing uh, all of its current assets um, efficiently. And it could be a sign that you know maybe uh, you can find a company that has uh, a current ratio that's closer to the industry average. Uh, so that's what you want to look for. Now another metric that's helpful is the quick ratio. So what the quick ratio does, it's basically the same calculation. The only difference is you're subtracting the inventory uh, from the from the calculation. And the reason this is done is because. Uh, Normally, inventory is is either uh, products or materials that are stored in the warehouse, and so the company may not be able to liquidate that, uh, you know, in the form of sales uh, um, fast enough to be able to pay the short-term liabilities. So, um, you know, you can make the argument that the quick ratio is probably a more uh, accurate metric to figuring out uh, whether the company has in, enough cash um, or accounts receivables. Uh, liquid assets to pay to be able to pay accounts payables, short-term notes, or any liabilities that are current. Uh, so again, that that the, the quick ratio is calculated by taking your current assets, subtracting the inventory, and dividing by the current liabilities. And so you get uh, a current a quick ratio of 84 times. So the same thing goes for the quick ratio. You you want to compare it to uh, the industry average or uh, similar competitors to this company that you're looking at and, and you want to see what their current ra quick ratio is and compare it to the company that you're looking at. Uh, so again, it's very important for just, you know, solvency of the company, making sure the company has enough cash to, to meet its short-term obligations and, and continue to run so that they don't get into any financial trouble. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you liked the video, please leave a comment down below. Uh, like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Thank you.